And members of the Law Society of Kenya, LSK, have gone to the ballot to elect their members and the president of the society. The election, which were conducted by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, saw polling stations open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. across LSK branches countrywide. The Supreme Court and Milimani Law Courts grounds in Nairobi. Four candidates are battling it out to succeed the outgoing president, Alan Gishohe. Dickens Luvanda tells us more. After several debates in the major law society of Kenya, LSK branches countrywide, wide, it was time for the presidential candidates to lead the close to 10,000 registered members to the ballot. Vocal advocate Nelson Harvey, LSK branch chairman Charles Kanjama, are the two men squaring it out for the society's top seat, alongside two women, LSK vice president Maria Mbeneka and Harriet Chigai. Of the four, only one will be lucky to replace Alan Gichuhi, whose three-year term ends this month. Anybody else who is not yet turned out to vote, to spare some time and come and vote. The affairs of the society and the entire Kenyan public are so fundamental that the decision as to who will serve the society as president, as, uh, as well as council member, is so fundamental that all of us, the 10,000 lawyers who are in the register, of uh, eligible lawyers to vote should come out and vote. LSK elections kicked off from as early as 7 a.m. on Thursday and ended at 5 p.m. across all the society's branches in Nairobi, Nyanza, North Rift, Eastern and Coastal region. Turnout now na ikiwa mzuri sana. Naona mawakili wamejitokeza kweli kweli. Kuna foleni kubwa sana. Naona pia seniors wamejitokeza, juniors, all all uh, ages of lawyers wamejitokeza hapa. I think this will be a good turnout na naona kuwa eh, watu wanataka sana sana kuchagua ambaye atakuwa rais ama mwakilishi katika council ya law society of Kenya. We have uh, 36 polling stations where uh, lawyers are permitted to vote. You can vote anywhere provided you are in, on the register. You can vote in Kisumu, you can vote in Mombasa, even if your area of practice is Kitale or Megori, provided that it is within the designated polling stations. With the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, conducting the elections, the National Tallying Center has been set up at the LSK headquarters in Nairobi, along Gitanga Road in Lovington. Nafazi zote ambazo zinawaniwa ni kume na tatu, na utapata kwamba kuesabu itachukua wakati. Tunatarajia kumalizika kwa kupige kuesabu ama tallying, ukipenda, itakuisha kitu saatisa ya usiku. Kutoka kwa polling stations. Alafu sisi sasa ambao tutakuwa tallying center, mimi mwenye nitakuwa pale, natarajia nipate asubui, mapema. Ndiyo nitaanza kupata ile tunaitanga provisional results. The outgoing president Alan Gichuhi came into office in 2017 with the promises of turning LSK into a transformative and visionary body. But the jury is still in doubt on whether he achieved this during a reign some have described as having little judicial activism and a rather little action on government oversight. There is a large consensus that LSK has been a bit too quiet, uh, too soft in matters of rule of law, in, in trying to get government to respect court orders, to fight against impunity and that we need a strong leader uh, now who can help LSK uh, assert uh, the right to the, the right for people to obey uh, court orders kwetu sisi kama wamama ambao tumesimama ni historia na tunaomba yetu ni kwamba tu tuwanie hii kiti tuweze kukipata na on top of that tuweze kubadilisha jinsi hii chama cha mawakili inaweza inafanya kazi both kwa mawakili na wananchi while each of the four candidates exuded the confidence of emerging victorious Gichuhi's successor will need to confront both internal and external challenges LSK has faced including transparency and dealing with public perception on operations of the judiciary in its entirety the IBC has assured members of the Law Society of Kenya of a transparent tallying process, saying members should expect results by 10 a.m. on Friday. Dickens Lovanda, Hope TV News Watch in Nairobi County.